What is up everyone? My name is Mr. J and today I am bringing you another Digimatch. On the left we have Garfman's and he is playing Dark Nightmon. And on the right I am playing Blue Flare. So I'm going to play the memory boosts, reveal top 6, send both my Madokis to the bottom. I am only running 10 rookies in this list and to be honest I wish it was the 12. Like I I'm running two copies of Magna X, Magnamon X Antibody and it's trash. I don't, I don't care what anybody else says, like legit, the dude never came up in the tournament. I just wish it was more consistency cards or like two more rookies. So those bad boys are coming out. I don't care. I don't care. They're coming out. They didn't do, they didn't do jack. Anyways, there, there goes my little rant. Still no rookie. I'm going to play another memory boost. Reveal top six. No Kiriha here. Though I do get the Gaussmon and the male Birdmon. He has three Digimon on the field and Garfman's, I've played him before. He, he was on Dark Nightmon for the longest. So he's going to go ahead and just do his thing, rush me down. The first two Digimon are deleted and the last one does check a Sora and Joe. And then he's going to hard play the Pride Memory Boost. Reveal top three. Those go to the trash, and he does play the Scald Nightmon with the Sec Plus Ward Inheritable. I do go to three because of the Sword and Joe. Pop the Memory Boost. And yeah, it's looking pretty bad because I only have two. Still no Kiriha from what I see in hand. And I'm thinking about it because I don't you can't see it because my my camera is over my hand right now. But I do have a death X in hand and I'm just thinking about, oh, yeah, popping both memory boosts, just going to death X and put them at seven. <laughs> and so death X pretty much saved me right there. I mean, it is a hundred dollar card, right? And it kind of sucks. Like, I don't know if death X is healthy for the game. Um, yeah, it's it sucks that your opponent can just sit in the back with like 10 tamers, especially like set control. But the fact that if you have empty, if you have open spaces like in your deck, if you have like, yeah, I don't know what to, I don't know what to throw into my deck. You just play Death X in your deck. Why not? Like the dude is too good. That's why he's a hundred bucks. Right now, the alt heart. Gaussmon does die in the security. I don't get the effect. I do prefer the Baby Domon over the Upamon, and that's mostly because uh, I have like four blue decks, and only only one play set of Upamons. So I have to make do with what I have. Yeah. Gaussmon plays the Greymon. Greymon searches me too. I do get the Kiriha off that. And I think here, maybe male Birdmon. I'll swing with the Death X. Hits an Immortal Ruler in security. But yeah, male Birdmon, play Kiriha, right? That's most likely the most optimal play. Hopefully, hopefully. Though, if I digivolve on top, because I do have the Decker German, and if I have the Decker Gre the yeah. And so, yeah, I have the Decker Greymon. I'm pretty sure I have the Decker German, so I could freeze his, um, his Dark Nightmon X Antibody. Swing with the Chikurimon, swing with the X Antibody. Uh, he does die, so Pagamon, he does plus off that. And then... He's going to hard play the Chumon. Because remember, he's going to try to Immortal Ruler here. And then there was a Spectator on the side. He just let him know. Because I didn't catch it. But the Spectator let him know like he does not have a purple source. If he had the Nene Amano, then yes, he would be able to play the Immortal Ruler and bring out the um, the Dark Nightmon. Most likely to pop the Greymon. But yeah, he's going to have to ha pass turn here with four memory. Giving me four memory. The Chumon gets deleted by the Death Hexmon. And here, good guy, Garfman's did let me know that uh, he, the Dark, Mi Dark Nightmon X Antibody is a floater. So, yeah. And I'm like, okay, I guess I shouldn't attack it. Because I was, my first my first thought was to control the board. But I'm going to go ahead and swing. Because right now he has no tamers. There's no, yeah, that's, yeah, that was my, uh, that was my, that's what I was thinking, dude. Like, I don't know why, like, yeah, my, my first instinct is just to delete the Digimon, like, then what threat is there, right? But I'm going to go ahead here, Digicross. Did I just draw off that? So I'm not supposed to draw there. That's an on-play effect. 
swing freeze one and he will unsuspend the inheritables like once your opponent has two or more digimon it's just crazy and since i still unsuspended and hit jakuri in the security I, i'll still swing for game but yeah i wasn't supposed to draw there off the uh the play on play for metal greymon it is difficult you know this is my first time playing with the deck with the blue flare deck I was, supposed, I was supposed to play Sakuyamon, but I played a practice match beforehand with Sakuyamon, and then I thought, I was like, you know what, maybe I shouldn't play Sakuyamon. I'll, I'll probably just save that one for a, another tournament. But yeah, it took me this one, this round, I was still kind of getting a feel for what Blue Flare does. Um, and it wasn't until the later rounds, I'm like, damn, this this deck is busted. Like it's, it is actually really good, especially with like Shoutmon with a cross heart deck on. He's going to play the Pride Mary Boost, lead me, to, lead me to three. Most likely play the Scald Nightmon with the Sec Plus One Inheritable. Yes, I do get to promote. Promote, he does have uh, two or more Digimon, so I will draw off the Baby Domon. Gaussmon does die, so what do I play? Most likely, yes, Decker Dramon. So Decker Dramon, draw one on play, and then for each Digimon, draw another uh, an additional card. So three in total, that's, that's pretty nice. It is suspended, so we do remember that because... Yes, I know someone's going to say that in the comment section. Yes, the previous Greymon was supposed to be suspended when I played it. And then play Male Birdmon to leave him at 2, and then Male Birdmon will play the Kiriha. That one's actually a really strong play. I like that because the Male Birdmon um, can swing next turn and then just uh, on deletion save itself. Really good. He is rushing me down though. And then that Skull Nightmon, the Cavalier mode, did have Sec plus one jamming. Pretty good. Pretty good. And I like the card. I like the card a lot. But yeah, he still has four security. Hmm. I don't think I have a Death X Mon to save me this time. And then he's going to. Did he just hard play that? For a lot of memory, yeah. The Dark Nightmon. So Gaussmon in the raising area. <laughs> I have a lot of the memory boost. I'm not popping. Swing with the Melbird. Am I swinging into? Yeah, I'm swinging. Yeah, that's again. I, I just feel like I have to control the board. And then on Cyber German and the bottom to unsuspend the Digimon and then swing over the other Boyo. Yeah, yeah. The Cyber German pretty good. I like it. It uh, I'll be honest with you, like the dude was a brick. Like seven out of ten games, but it, it does come up. Sometimes it does come up. I don't think I'll take him out of the deck, the Cyber German. Going to Decker Greymon. And then here I was asking if I could use the uh the source from under the Kiriha, but I'm pretty sure you cannot use the source from under the Kiriha because that would have been nice to be able to freeze his Dark Knight, uh, Dark Nightmon. But no, I do not have a second copy or uh, second copy of Decker German, so I'm just going to do something else, right? I could choke him at one here, right? Pop the memory boost and then go into Madoki, play Madoki. Am I gonna do that? Yes, choke him at one. And now he's kind of limited in his place. He could pop my uh, Kiriha here if he has the Dark Nightmon X antibody. He's going to swing at security. It does die to a Magna X. The only useful thing Magna X has done for me, bro. The only thing. I still regret putting that that guy in my, in my deck. Oh my god. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. If you, if you play Magna X in your Blue Flare deck... Bro, you know, to each his own. To each his own. Is he playing? Is he playing? Is he trying to play the Immortal Ruler again? Did he? Did he play it the first time? Now that I think about it, I don't know. Yeah, he can't play that. He doesn't have a Nene, and it, it really sucks because he didn't see Nene at all. This match.
but yeah it sucks because he has no tamers and i can just continue freezing his uh i can continue freezing his stuff to be honest yeah so the male bird mon is gonna come in clutch here because i can freeze his digimon So swing with the Decker Greymon, right? Also, the Decker Greymon, the original art, I, I feel like it's it's better than the uh, the alt art that we got in English. Go into a Decker Greymon on top of Decker Greymon and then put the male bird mon under. That way I can freeze both of his Digimon. And dude, that like that male bird mon is so good. So yeah, being able to freeze both of his Digimon is crazy with the Decker Greymon. And then on deletion, the Gaussmon will play the Greymon. I do plus off that, so I do get the two sources, the um, two cards, I mean. And yeah, now that his Digimon are frozen, like, I can just go wide. I uh, hope he doesn't have a Death Xmon. The Death Xmon would not get rid of the Decker Greymon, though, because it would just de digivolve into the other one. It's hard play another Gaussmon. Pass turn. His memory boost is now live, though. He can't pop it to go to four. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure he could get rid of the Digimon. It's hard. Like, if possible, yeah, he doesn't have it. Yeah, I was going to say, like, if he has a level 5, he could swing over the Greymon, go into the level 5, and then pop the Kiriha so I lose my sources there. Swing at security, the Decker Greymon will unsuspend, right? I think I'm forgetting about that. Do I not? No, I don't have the Greymon under there. Swing with the Gaussmon. It does die. Gaussmon effect. Play the Greymon. Greymon top 4. Do get the Metal Greymon. I have noticed that Metal Greymon is uh, by far the most important card of this deck. And then he plays the, and then Breath of the Gods comes out in security. So he's safe for a turn, but it doesn't matter here because I'm going to go ahead and go into the Metal Greymon to freeze all three of his Digimon. They were already frozen before because of the Decker Greymon, but it doesn't matter. They're double frozen. Is that a thing? Double frozen? And then here, I think he's just... Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Scald Nightmon. I don't know what he was doing here. He was just doing some crazy stuff. But uh, he has no Digimon with Rush. So, like, it doesn't really matter. And at some point, my boy's going to scoop it up. Because, you know, he can. He could Death X, possibly. Possibly. Yeah, all right. So he's going to scoop it up. And yeah, I too owed him. Um, yeah, I was reading my cards for like a good portion of this match, to be honest. I was reading my cards. But uh, Blue Flare is pretty strong. 2 well, Dark Nightmon. Stay tuned for the next round. I play Jessmon. I play a lot of Jessmon this, uh, this tournament, just an FYI. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Mr. J, and I will see you all next time.